Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we are recommending some great games to look into if you're a fan of The Legend of Zelda. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Tunic. In case the overall presentation and adorable critter dressed exactly like Link didn't tip you off, Tunic takes a lot of inspiration from classic Zelda. Players control a fox, taking them through a mystical land and piecing together the history and nature of it along the way. It's a beautiful blend of modern and old school elements. While its design and gameplay feel like an update on what came before it, the game still nails what it's like to be thrust into a mysterious world, much like the first game in the Zelda series. Tunic also brings an immense level of difficulty that will remind players of the NES days. Immortals Phoenix Rising what a name, Phoenix. Sounds like the sound a dumb bird makes when it lights itself on fire. The effects Breath of the Wild had on the structure of open world games is still being felt years later, but for a similar art style and tone, we'd recommend Ubisoft's Immortals Phoenix Rising. With a focus on Greek mythology, it follows Phoenix, a mortal destined to defeat the monstrous Typhon after he escapes from the underworld. If I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Immortals is a bit more combat focused than Breath of the Wild, but it borrows a lot from its open world and puzzle solving elements. There are even vaults of Tartarus, which are essentially Breath of the Wild's shrines. While there are a few aspects that feel a bit too copy paste, there's still plenty here that will please fans. Blossom Tales, The Sleeping King. Now back to the classic stuff. It should be immediately obvious that Blossom Tales, The Sleeping King is a modern day A Link to the Past. From its retro graphics to the player's arsenal to its dungeon design, it doesn't try to hide it. And that's not a bad thing. The game is a lot of fun, though not just because it mimics one of the Super Nintendo's best games. It also has a great, silly sense of humor, always seeking to bring out a smile on the player's face. Is it the most unique game? No, but it'll definitely scratch that retro Zelda itch, as will its 2022 sequel, The Minotaur Prince. Kina, Bridge of Spirits. Considering Ember Lab once produced an incredible Majora's Mask fan film, it's not surprising the first game it developed took inspiration from the series. The gameplay of Kina is a bit more akin to an action platformer, like Jack and Daxter, but the visuals, tone, music, world, and story are all very Zelda. It follows Kina, who guides the dead from their world into the spirit world but her job is made a lot harder due to a powerful corruption spreading throughout the forest. Every aspect is bursting with life and color, including the adorable little rot, which help expand on puzzles and combat the more you collect. It's also surprisingly tough, especially in its later boss fights. Hyper Light Drifter For those looking for a bit of tense action in their Zelda, Hyper Light Drifter more than hits the mark. As the Drifter, players navigate a stunning pixel art landscape battling monsters, all while suffering from a life-threatening disease. Lead developer and designer Alex Preston specifically took inspiration from A Link to the Past, while also likening it to Diablo. That is a pretty accurate description. 
It was praised from every corner for how it adapted the SNES visuals, and it can't be understated just how incredible it looks while playing. It's another tough one too, especially when the game ramps up towards the climax. Elden Ring Like many developers of fantasy games over the years, From Software has drawn inspiration from The Legend of Zelda before. But for the open world of Elden Ring, the studio was inspired by Nintendo's work on Breath of the Wild. The lands between were far more expansive and free to explore than anything else seen in From Software's previous releases. Many were quick to point out this inspiration as a major positive. Of course, the studio has a reputation, and your ability to freely explore and discover will still be met by challenging bosses. So this is for players who want Zelda to be a lot harder. Hob. Like Tunic, Hob places you in a mysterious forest, having you explore to discover more about it. Only here, things are a bit more sci-fi. Nature has overtaken massive structures, but you piece together the lore of what happened as you explore. It very much is a classic Zelda action puzzler, with each success beckoning you to keep digging. Combat isn't always the game's strong suit, but everything that has to do with its level design, from environmental storytelling to puzzles, is made with the utmost care. It's just a shame this was the last game Runic Games put out before the studio closed. Outer Wilds Mobius Digital's space exploration indie darling may not seem very Zelda at first glance, but it should be right up the alley for fans of Majora's Mask. It places players inside a time loop, with the only way out to explore and learn as much as they can before it resets every 22 minutes, brought on by the sun going supernova. Progressing through multiple loops to avoid being destroyed is certainly reminiscent of the plot to the Ocarina sequel, which also lends it a similar somber tone. But there's also a ton of interesting puzzles to sink your teeth into. Additionally, Wind Waker was cited as inspiration for the game's NPCs, as they'd hint towards alluring areas for the players to explore. Death's Door With Death's Door, developer Acid Nerve took The Legend of Zelda and stirred in a nice helping of Dark Souls level difficulty. As an employee of the Reaping Commission headquarters, your job is to collect souls. Towards the start, you're given an assignment to gather three giant souls, which, of course, takes you to three distinct dungeons. Whether you're navigating these monster-infested environments, or backtracking to unlock rewards after gaining certain items, you'll recognize the Zelda DNA throughout. However, the game more than manages to stand on its own thanks to its unique take on the afterlife and its own charming brand of humor. Okami When thinking of Zelda-inspired games, Okami is likely the first to come to mind for many. It tells the story of Amaterasu, a sun god in the form of a wolf who fights to save its world from the demon Yami. Originally released in 2006, the same year Link himself turned into a wolf in Twilight Princess, it wholeheartedly wears its influences on its sleeve. The combat, the puzzle solving, even the structure of unlocking items, or abilities here, to gain access to new areas. It's like a love letter to the series. 
The Celestial Brush mechanic provides a fun twist on gameplay, while the watercolor art style will make you marvel at every frame. There's a reason it's considered one of the best Zelda-likes. The Legend of Zelda is one of the most influential franchises around, and 10 games barely scratches the surface. Let us know what games you'd recommend to Zelda fans in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays for more great gaming videos every day. I'm searching for the Sacred Mountain Shrine. Can you take me there? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.